Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're gonna look at this nice aircraft, but specifically, we're gonna look at how you can change the speeds or use the auto speed or auto throttle functionality in the situation longitude. I recorded a video of this aircraft and how to enable it, I would say a long uh, time ago, but then I figured out, hey, my, maybe I can create another video which describes how you can really control the maximum speed. Because there are two ways in this case. Right, so we're gonna uh, reach the flaps. So here we are in the aircraft because that's where we're gonna set those settings. So the first thing which you need to understand is where to see the maximum speed. In this case, it had been set to 200 knots, but do believe me, there I think it's caused by a bug. In some cases, it will revert back to 160 knots, which is the default setting of this aircraft. So to set the maximum speed, there are two options. One of them is to use this nice button over here. So you can change it, this one to FMS, which is the default one, or you set it to manual. As soon as you change it to manual, you will see that this, I would say, these numbers are changing to blue. And we can use this small nice button to change the speed, right? So we can decrease it or increase it, whatever you want. That's the manual way, but there is another way. So. For that, we need to change it back to FMS, which is the flight management system. So let me hide the yoke because we don't need it. And the question of course is where you can you find it? Can you find it in the perf settings? Well, you can try to find it. Uh, let me enable uh, this one, the speed box, right? Which are enabling the, the options over here. Uh, but that will not res really resolve the issue. And that's kind of weird, right? Because you think, hey, it should be somewhere in the perf page. Well. It's not. Where can you find it? It's in the flight plan. And the reason for that is if you set it to the uh, FMS option, it will use the configuration set in the VNAV section. And the VNAV, as you might know, uh, allows you to either climb or descend using a specific rate, which is defined here, to a specific altitude. And we'll make sure that once we're arriving at rest to that we're at 10,000 feet or so, right? So if we're, let's say, approaching to uh, Rest to as soon as the, uh, I would say the, the the marker point in a flight plan is being reached, it will start decreasing the airport with an angle of three percent. Right? Uh, they also call it the uh, top of climb or top of descent. Right? Those are the, the values which you will find. You also have the bottom of descent, the bot, uh, but you won't see that. I would say happen on a regular basis. So how to set the speed in that case using the VNAV? Well, press the VNAV option and there you will find the FMS speed. The FMS speed is ta-da, matching this one. Which means that if we're using this option with auto throttle enabled, we will fly the maximum speed of 200 knots. Keep in mind that this is the speed if you have the flaps in a neutral position. As soon as you drop the flaps, you will see that it will reduce the speed. What you can do in this case, or in all scenarios, sorry, is set also a specific speed for the climb, the cruise, and the descent, right? So as long as you take off with flaps down, it will use the FMS speed, the active, active profile, and then as soon as you, I would say, uh, kind of put the flaps in neutral position, it will start following these values. So let's start at the top. The top defines the maximum rate climb, which is 270 knots, right? So that's the maximum speed it will use. You can see that the transition altitude has been set to 18,000 uh, feet, which is the default for the US. And we've got the altitude speed limit. Because we still have the uh, altitude speed limit for below 10,000 feet. So below 10,000 feet, we will fly a maximum speed of 250 knots. Above it, we will fly 270. But there's a third one. That's if we're close to lethal, then if we're flying below 2500 feet, we will not go faster than 200 knots. Right? So that's, say, kind of cool. Now we've got the cruise speed. The cruise speed has been set to 320 knots. Right, you can also see that it's uh, the value has been set also to Mac, and you can easily change it by pressing the option and then defining the value. Right, so you can say, Hey, 
I want to use this value I want or I want to use another other one and the same thing is applicable to descent right so 300 knots by default with a climb descent rate of 300 uh, or 3 degrees then the altitude speed limit below 10,000 is 190 knots and then if we're close to the destination airport exactly to be 9.9 .9 nautical miles within destination of the airport and below 3000 then this will be the speed and again you can easily change it by pressing the numbers right so pressing it simply hitting enter then providing the uh, altitude and then providing the speed but enough talk and you also hear that right the uh, I would say uh, the air traffic control was not happy with us because we're still stuck on an I would say runway and there's an aircraft behind us so let's uh, let's take off um, I'm gonna open a flight map over here I'm gonna reach the view I'm gonna drop the flaps a bit and then no I'm gonna increase off. the speed no so what you will see initially is that it will keep the speed to 200 knots right as you can see here but it will change so it will change to a lower speed sometimes it happens when you're airborne it's a little bit weird you would expect it to already to pick up the up new speed but it won't do it so we're going airborne as you can see so gears up in this case and then we're airborne and we can I'd say climb to a specific altitude if we want but as you can see we're already above that uh, 6 or 2500 speed so it will not use the uh, speed below so we're gonna set the Madrid Center Cessna Alpha Sierra, stuff. Golf Sierra. Then we're going to enable the flight level change option, which will make sure that we're uh, climbing with a Cessna stable Alpha speed. Sierra, and here you can see what happened, Madrid right? Center In this case, it has set it to 190 knots. But where does 190 knots come from? Well, first thing we need to do, of course, we need to make sure that we're, say, indeed climbing. Because else, how does the aircraft know we're climbing? And that's what you normally would set, I would say, uh, prior to the. Uh, say departure right Boeing so we're going to enable the auto throttle option also so in this case auto throttle will ensure that we're keeping that uh, 200 knots and as you can see here the autopilot has been activated so what we can do now is we can I would say release that or put the flaps in neutral and as soon as we did that you can see that it will start increasing the speed to 250 knots a surprise because that's what we set up here right we're already above 10,000 or no we're not yet to 10,000 sorry so that makes sense because we set the speed up to 250 so if we're above the 10,000 feet you will see that this value will start changing again right so let's give it some time so we're at 8,000 and climbing almost 9,000 feet right you can see that we're really having a steep uh, climb curve we're almost there 9,700 9,008 and here it goes to and uh, did you saw it now the value has been dropped to uh, 250 knots so it will start I would say it it will not start it will continue to uh, gain the speed until we are on the flight level which has been instructed to us so I will let it happen it will not take that long so as soon as we hit that altitude which we defined here it will go into the cruise mode if we hit the cruise mode it will make sure that we're going to the maximum of 320 and you can see it already did that a little bit earlier uh, compared to uh, reaching the altitude so it will let's say already start to speed up a bit and then it will speed up to a maximum of 320 knots of course it depends on the uh, flaps right if you're dropping the flaps it will uh, let's say it will go a little bit slower because else you will break the flaps so we're here at 1000 or 10,300 feet no 13,000 feet sorry and you will see that as soon as we're being instructed to increase the altitude which will likely happen if not then I will show it quickly so as soon as we start turning this button again it will go back to that 270 knots which we defined over here and that's how we can control the speed 
in this uh, nice aircraft really easy right so enabling it is on the throttle but really manipulating the speed can be done either uh, manually by using uh, this button over here but then you need to change it to a manual mode or you can use the VNAV configuration as I just showed you and then you can uh, leave it to the FMS mode right so here you see it right we're instructed to go to uh, 15,000 so it can increase the speed or increase the altitude sorry press the flight level and as soon as we did that you can see that the label here changes to climb and then it will start reducing the speed to 270 knots and that's how you can play a bit with the speed using this nice system which is working since the latest update because i think prior to uh, the aao uh, update it didn't work but now it works so here ends this video i hope you liked it in this video we looked at how you can use the vnav uh, to control the speed of the aircraft and to automatically increase or decrease the speed based on various factors i hope you liked it if you liked it then consider to use the like button if you got questions or comments then feel free to post them in the comment box below and if you want to stay up to date about new videos and posting then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time